Hoth. Hoth is the sixth planet in an out-of-the-way star system of the same name. The frozen world of wind, snow, and ice was the location of the primary Rebel Alliance base three years after the Battle of Yavin. The secret Echo Base was discovered by the Empire, and the ice planet became the site of a terrible engagement known as the Battle of Hoth. While daytime temperatures across the planet are tolerable for humans wearing proper clothing, the night brings such cold that to travel or even leave protected shelters is tantamount to suicide. The extreme cold even affects vehicles and machinery, and all of the Alliance equipment had to be modified to withstand the weather. For a time, the Rebels had to employ specially adapted Tauntauns as mounts until their airspeeders were converted to operate in the cold and snow. During the Alliance's brief exploration of the planet, only one life form was discovered, the Wampa Ice Creature. Its size and need for food suggest that other creatures live in the frozen wastes, but they have not been yet identified or catalogued. Since being conquered by the Empire, Hoth has been the location of an Imperial garrison and detention center. Human Droid Relations Specialist a human droid relations specialist is a droid programmed to provide an interface between humans and other droids, or other self-aware mechanicals, such as ship computers. Language interpretation and diplomatic programming make up this classification's primary functions. C-3PO was designed and programmed into this classification, though he has gained other talents and abilities over the long years, as he has not been subjected to memory wipes. Hut. A hut is any of the intelligent species from the planet Varl, a dying world orbiting a dwarf star named Ardos. A hut has a huge, bulbous head, a wide, blubbery body, and tapering, muscular tail, and speaks Huttese. They can reach lengths of up to five meters. Huts have no legs, but they do have short, swollen arms. Two enormous reptilian eyes emerge from the folds of flesh covering the head, and a lipless mouth slices across the wide face. Most huts are megalomaniacs who believe themselves the equal of any gods. They are tough and thoroughly immoral, given and taking and exercising power over others. As a long-lived species, some huts claim to be as old as 1,000 years. Many huts have left their home world to set up colonies, or to mingle with the other races in the galaxy. Jabba the Hutt, for example, established a criminal organization and set up his base on the desert planet Tatooine. Hyperdrive The starship engine and its interrelated systems are propel space vessels to superlight speeds and into hyperspace is called the hyperdrive. Powered by incredibly efficient fusion generators, hyperdrive engines hurl ships into hyperspace, a dimension of space-time that can only be reached by faster-than-light speeds. Hyperdrives work with astrogation computers to assure safe and dependable hyperspace travel, to protect ships from hyperspace gravity shadows, most hyperdrives come equipped with an automatic cutoff. If a gravity shadow is scanned along the route ahead, the cutoff dumps the ship back into real space. Even with cutoffs, ships that fly too close to gravity shadows while traveling through hyperspace can sustain massive and sometimes fatal amounts of damage. Hyperdrive Motivator The hyperdrive motivator is the primary light speed thrust initiator in the hyperdrive engine system. It is connected to a vessel's main computer system to monitor and collect sensor and navigation data in order to determine jump thrusts, adjust engine performance in hyperspace, and calibrate safe returns to normal space. Hyperspace. Galactic travel took an amazing leap forward with the discovery of hyperspace. With the use of a hyperdrive, a starship can exceed the speed of light and enter a dimension that takes advantage of the wrinkles in the fabric of normal or real space. Hyperspace is a dimension of space-time that can only be reached by traveling at light speed. Hyperspeed is coterminous with real space, 
which means that every point in real space is associated with a unique point in hyperspace. If a ship travels in a specific direction in real space prior to jumping to hyperspace, then it continues to travel in that direction through hyperspace. In addition, objects in real space cast shadows into hyperspace, which must be plotted and avoided in order to ensure a safe trip. A star in real space casts a shadow of itself, which exists in the corresponding hyperspace location. This makes current astrogation charts and careful jump calculations especially important to those who use hyperspace to travel the space lanes. Imperial Royal Guard The Imperial Royal Guard is a unit of specially selected Imperial soldiers who serve as the Emperor's personal guards. Only the most promising soldiers who fall within the required size, strength, intelligence, and loyalty ranges are chosen for this duty. They are trained in the use of a wide range of weapons and unarmed combat styles, and conditioned to obey the Emperor's will and protect him with their very lives. Imperial Royal Guards wear flowing red robes, helmets, and full body armor. Insignia of the New Republic The seal adopted by the Provisional Council as the Insignia of the New Republic is based upon the symbol of the Alliance that preceded it. The blue crest of the Alliance, itself taken from the seal of the Old Republic, is set within a circle of stars that represent the galactic community. The circle is trimmed in gold, symbolizing the right of the people to govern themselves. Ion Cannon An ion cannon fires bursts of ionized energy that cause damage to a target's mechanical and computer systems by overloading and fusing circuitry. Unlike blaster bolts, ion bursts cause no structural damage. They do, however, neutralize ship, weapons, shields, engines, and other vital systems. Ship-mounted ion cannons come in a variety of low-power ratings, while those designed to serve as planetary defenses have the highest power ratings available. Planetary ion cannons are mounted in multi-story, spherical towers that have their own power supplies. These tower cannons hurl devastating bursts of ion energy into space to ward off hostile vessels. One of these weapons protected the rebel base on Hoth from orbital assault. Jawa Jawas, the meter-tall scavenger race native to Tatooine, are rodent-like beings with offensive odors and jabbering speech. Jawas remain hidden within coarse cloaks, with only their small glowing eyes visible in the shadowy folds of their hoods. Jawas travel in bands, searching for discarded hardware to collect, wrecked ships to salvage, or unattended vehicles to steal. They clean and repair these items, selling and trading them with Tatooine settlers and those passing through Mos Eisley spaceport. Jawas nest within huge vehicles called sand crawlers and rumble across the desert wastes in their massive but slow transports. Jedi Knights When the Old Republic first came into existence, the Jedi Knights were there to protect it. They were the guardians of justice and freedom, the most respected and powerful force for good for over a thousand generations. While the Jedi were known for their supernatural skills with lightsabers, their real power came from their ability to tap into and manipulate the Force. Jedi Knights defended the Old Republic from all threats, including the proponents of the Clone Wars, but there was one threat they could not stand against. Internal corruption. First the Republic itself fell to the corruption of its leaders, and the Empire was born. Then, before the Knights could move against him, the Emperor used one of their own to destroy the Jedi. Through treachery, deception, and the actions of the corrupted Jedi Knight called Darth Vader, the Jedi Knighthood was exterminated. Presumably, only Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and the Jedi Master named Yoda survived the Emperor's eradication of the Jedis. It was Kenobi and Yoda who trained young Luke Skywalker. 
to become the first of a new line of Jedi Knights. Lando Calrissian Lando Calrissian, soldier of fortune and master gambler, turned respectable after winning stewardship of Bespin's Cloud City in a game of Sabak. As Baron Administrator of Cloud City and its Tabana Gas mining operation, he proved to be adept at keeping the outpost on an even keel and turned a handsome profit. In fact, things were going so well that Calrissian should have realized his luck was about to change. Imperial forces under the command of Lord Darth Vader arrived at Cloud City and persuaded Calrissian to assist them. The Dark Lord made Lando an offer he could not refuse. A deal to keep the Empire out of Bespin system forever. All Lando had to do was betray his old friend, associate, and sometime rival Han Solo. After escaping from Imperial forces in the Hoth system, Han Solo brought his damaged Millennium Falcon to Cloud City for repairs. Lando, who once owned the Falcon until he lost it to Solo in a Sabacc game, welcomed Solo and his companions to his facility, promising to get his techs right to work on the Falcon's troublesome hyperdrive. While he played the cordial and dashing host, Lando was setting Solo up for a fall, though the fall that came was not the one Lando had agreed to. He went along with Vader, because the Dark Lord had claimed to be after someone named Skywalker. Solo, Leia, Chewbacca, and C-3PO were nothing more than bait. The Dark Lord had claimed, explaining that, after the trap had been sprung, the four could remain on Bespin. The Empire's promise to leave Cloud City to its own devices, and the large number of heavily armed stormtroopers at Vader's side had convinced Lando to go along with the deal. When he discovered that Vader was changing the terms to suit his own purposes, and that his beloved Cloud City was about to become an armed camp, Lando finally decided to help Han. He ordered the evacuation of Cloud City, but was too late to rescue Han from the bounty hunter Boba Fett. Instead, he helped Leia and Chewbacca escape in the Falcon, and even managed to help save Luke Skywalker from the very bottom of the floating city. Later, Lando took part in the mission to rescue Han Solo from the clutches of Jabba the Hutt. His role in that mission was one of deceit, for he disguised himself as one of Jabba's guards, and worked his way into Jabba's court so that he could watch, listen, and wait for an opportunity to make a move. After saving Solo and helping to destroy Jabba the Hutt, Lando decided to take a commission in the Rebel Alliance. Due to his reputation as a soldier of fortune, Especially for his role in the Battle of Danab, Lando was given the rank of general. He then volunteered to lead the starfighter assault on the second Death Star, a job that was made much easier by Solo's generous offer of the Millennium Falcon. At the helm of the Falcon, Lando's daring expertise and quick thinking were pivotal in the great space battle that took place above Endor's forest moon. In fact, he accompanied Wedge Antilles on the run to destroy the Death Star's power core. In the end, Lando was decorated as a hero alongside Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and Princess Leia. Before losing the Millennium Falcon to Han Solo, before becoming Baron Administrator of Cloud City, and before signing on to help the Alliance, Lando Calrissian engaged in a number of adventures that helped build a reputation. At the helm of the Falcon, Calrissian took a year-long trip during which he went to the planets of the Rafa system in search of ancient alien treasures, was stalked by a series of enemies because of his habit of winning high-stakes games of chance, and helped a persecuted alien species called the Oswaft. During this period, Lando was accompanied by a five-armed astrogation pilot droid named Vuffy Ra. Lando had won the droid, like most of his other possessions, in a game of Sabacc. After the Battle of Endor, Lando resigned his commission and returned to the private sector. His dealings with the Alliance led to the New Republic's offer to finance his new venture in the Athaga system. Without realizing it, Lando became an upstanding citizen, war hero, honest businessman, and responsible administrator. He established a mining company on the planet Klon and supplied a steady flow of raw materials to the New Republic. He was drawn back into the everlasting galactic conflict when the mole miners used in his operation were stolen by the Emperor 
for use in the imperial salt on Sluis Van. He wound up suspending his business dealings to help Han Solo and the New Republic deal with the threat posed by Grand Admiral Thrawn. After the defeat of Thrawn, Lando rejoined the Republic to assist in its continuing struggle against the Empire. He helped command the Republic forces at the Battle of Calamari. Land Speeder A land speeder is any type of surface transport vehicle that employs repulsor lift propulsion engines. Even when parked, a land speeder remains suspended about a meter off the ground as an after effect of the repulsor field generated by the engine. The most popular land speeders currently on the market include Bespin Motors' Void Spider TX3, the Ubrickian 9000 Z001, the Mobquay Deluxe, and the new Surosub XP38. Land speeders are sometimes referred to as floaters or skimmers. Leia Organa Leia Organa, princess and senator from the planet Alderaan, became involved with the Rebel Alliance and soon was one of its most popular and influential cell leaders. While Leia has some memories of her natural mother, the parents she knew best were the Organas, the foster parents who took her into their family while she was still an infant. Her foster father, Bill Organa, of the royal family of Alderaan, raised her as though she were his own daughter, providing her with love and caring. She was raised as befits a princess, learning the principles and justice and honor along with her other studies. As she grew older, she became a political leader on Alderaan, eventually winning a seat on the Imperial Senate at a young age. But while she fought for reforms on the Senate floor, she also went to work for the Alliance to restore the Republic. It was a twofold mission for the Alliance and her foster father that she became involved in the events that would lead her into the company of Luke Skywalker and Han Solo. At Bail Organa's insistence, Leia was heading for Tatooine to find General Obi-Wan Kenobi and recruit him for the Rebellion. On the way, she received plans for the Death Star battle station, which had been stolen by rebel spies and transmitted to her ship. Before she could reach Obi-Wan, her consular ship, Tantive IV, was intercepted by an Imperial Star Destroyer under the command of Lord Darth Vader. She barely had time to hide the plans in the memory banks of an astromech droid and order it to find Obi-Wan Kenobi before she was captured. As a prisoner of Vader, Leia underwent terrible interrogation sessions as the Imperials sought to discover the location of the main rebel base, as well as the whereabouts of the stolen technical plans. She withstood everything they used upon her, giving them only the name of an abandoned base for their trouble. Worse, though, she was forced to watch as her beloved adopted homeworld was destroyed in an awesome display of the Death Star's power. Shortly thereafter, Luke Skywalker and Han Solo rescued her from the battle station and ferried her and the technical plans to the real rebel base on Yavin 4. Due to Leia's efforts and the help of her new companions, the first Death Star was eventually destroyed. With Alderaan gone, Luke, Han, and Chewbacca became Leia's new family, and she threw herself into her work with the Alliance. During the three years that followed the Battle of Yavin, Leia grew to love her companions. The group had numerous adventures, becoming heroes and the inspiration for the struggling Alliance. When Han Solo was captured, Leia was among the small team that went to bring him back. She pretended to be the UB's bounty hunter, Bausch, in order to get into Jabba the Hutt's stronghold. Her identity was discovered, however, and Leia had to endure the humiliation of being Jabba's slave for a time. But she paid back the crime lord, strangling him with the very chain that held her captive. Finally, Leia was part of the strike force that went to the forest moon at the start of the Battle of Endor. Her diplomatic skills helped convince the native Ewoks to aid the rebellion, thus bringing an end to the Galactic Civil War. During the Battle of Endor, Leia learned that Luke Skywalker was her twin brother. The two had been separated at birth and placed in hiding by Obi-Wan Kenobi to keep them safe. It was believed that the twins, with their latent abilities in the Force, would be the last hope for the galaxy, provided they could be kept secret from the Emperor 
long enough to realize their potential. While Leia refused to accept a seat of power in the Alliance since the end of the Battle of Endor, she has taken her place as the leader of Alderaan's survivors and accepted a post in the New Republic's provisional government. She serves on both the provisional and inner councils. As for her personal life, she accepted Han Solo's proposal of marriage. Now she is Leia Organa Solo, princess, counselor, wife, mother, and Jedi Knight in training. Her first children, the twins Jason and Jaina, were born during the events surrounding the return of the Empire's Grand Admiral Thrawn. Her third child, Anakin, was born a year later, after the events surrounding the rebirth of the Emperor. In addition to her governmental duties, Leia tries to find time to learn the ways of the Force from her brother Luke. She's becoming fairly competent with the lightsaber. Lightsaber The lightsaber is the elegant weapon of the Jedi Knights. These powerful swords project blades of pure energy, capable of cutting through most materials, except the blade of another lightsaber. The design seems simple from the outside. A hand grip with several switches ends in a mirror-like concave metal disc. Inside the hand grip, power cells and variously shaped crystals are activated to produce the narrow beam of meter-long light that gives the lightsaber its name. When activated, the lightsaber hums with power. Considered archaic when compared to blasters and other modern weapons, lightsabers are nonetheless impressive and powerful personal weapons that require extensive training to use effectively. Tradition dictates that lightsabers be constructed by their Jedi owners as part of the knighthood training. The lightsaber is a compact technological wonder built into a handle from 24 to 30 centimeters long. A single power cell produces a tremendous charge of energy which flows through a series of multifaceted jewels within the handle's interior. The jewels focus the energy into a tight beam that can be emitted from the concave disc atop the handle. Sabers with a single jewel have a fixed amplitude and blade length. Those with multiple jewels, usually no more than three, can alter their amplitude and change the length of the light blade. This is accomplished by rotating an exterior control that varies the distance between the jewels. The emitting beam arcs back from its positively charged continuous energy lens to a negatively charged high energy flux aperture set in the disc atop the handle. The power amplitude determines the point at which the beam arcs back, setting the blade's length. The lightsaber's blade emits no heat, though it does fluoresce. 